This painting took three months of work. Christian Abe has completed his biggest work yet in Berlin's Lichtenberg district. It's just opposite the former headquarters of the East German secret police, the Stasi. The street artist grew up in this area. This is my home. My heart is here. Doing something here for the people I grew up with in my neighborhood is really something special. Let's go back to July when Christian started the project. He was commissioned by a Berlin housing association. The finished mural will be 30 meters high and 15 meters wide, a tall order even for an experienced street artist. I had hoped to be able to work freely, but when you're standing on this scaffolding, you don't have an overview. You don't know how high up you are. You can only see a couple of meters above and below. To find his way around the 500 square meter facade, Christian is using medieval techniques. Michelangelo himself used a grid of transfer points with individual squares to paint the Sistine Chapel ceiling in the 16th century. It's art using coordinate points. We're now at B10. That means we're here. This is where the brown and purple color comes to make this splodge, which goes up here. Christian's creativity is usually unleashed here in his studio. It's in a 220 square meter loft in Berlin's Lichtenberg district. Christian sells his works internationally and many fetch five digit sums. He studied in Berlin under people like Georg Baselitz, one of Germany's most renowned contemporary artists. His works are displayed abroad in cities like Miami. He received an art award this year from the Russian city of Perm. In 2011, he caused a sensation in cities around Europe with his live painting performance art. Back in Berlin, Christian has been working on his facade for almost eight weeks. I think painting is linked to a certain feel for your body. At least my painting is. There's a certain rhythm and movement. My athletic past comes in handy here. Sport vergangenheit habe. In 2005, Christian became German street ball champion. And he certainly needs to be in good condition for this particular art project. He climbs about 100 meters every day, which, over 90 days, is equivalent to going up Mount Everest. I work with so many colors and shades that I always go through loads of materials. Painting is one thing, but the logistics around it is really the name of the game. Christian has his own team of assistants. Every minute action carefully follows the grand plan. You need certain instructions, of course, like here, please leave this where it is. These are my splashes, as I call them. There are different patches of color underneath. Check whether everything's sticking well on this level and the one above, can you? Most of Christian's paintings are made up of many layers. During week 10, different tones of blue are applied to the 33 meter high mural. And afterwards I take the covered splashes off so that the picture that's hidden behind becomes visible and then everything comes together. Three months later and it's finally finished. The scaffolding is off and Christian uses a crane to apply the finishing touches. The red really has to dance and come to life on the blue and radiate energy into the neighborhood. In all, Christian used 12,500 meters of tape and 150 liters of paint. You let your eyes drift across it and the whole time it challenges you. It's expressive in the way that nature is beautiful, the world is beautiful, and life can be beautiful. It's a work of art that's hard to miss. But Christian has his sights set even higher. Next time, he wants to paint an entire airplane.